Hello Stamper! Welcome to Frenchie's video! I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up at FrenchieStamps.com in the U.S. Today it's tip for this lovely bundle here. It's called Peaceful Cabin. But this first video, I'm going to share tip on the dies. And then next week, I will have some with the stamp set. Uh, let me, so it is on page 38 of the mini catalog. Now, if you see this one here, it's using with the stamp set. So I will bring that back, uh, like I said, next week. And this is just the stamp set, no dies, okay? Now, here, it's pretty no stamping. It's uh, mainly the dies. You see, it's all dye. I just got the greeting that it's stamping. The rest, it's dye. Now, if you look at that paper, before we get started, let me share 10 bits about that paper. That is the amazing paper at the bottom of the page 37. It's a specialty paper. That means that uh, it's a different texture sometime to it, or in this case, it's foil. So, this is the piece of this card here. It don't look like it, right? Let me share. Let me flip this on my dirty side here. And uh, I got Midnight Muse here with my uh, blending brush. And so, the, all the little, like, star and the snowflake or whatever you call it, it is foil silver. So, the ink will not absorb there. So you can have a lovely background. Here is, I got bits and pieces of paper here. See how pretty that is, all that silver on it. It is gorgeous. Also the piece in the back of this one with the big three. That's part of it. The background was white, I sponged blue. Now when you're done uh, the sponging, take a rag and just wipe it. So that's going to take the ink off where the foil is and it's going to be very lovely. Okay, let's bring the die cut machine now because really it's about the die cut today. I'm going to flip that. It's kind of disturbing. Okay, let's hope that we get... Yeah, I think I'm in the view, right? Okay. So now I'm going to share how to do the house. So if you don't want to do stamping at the top like me, I wanted sponging. Well, I had to reverse this because sponging on the dark early espresso was not working. So you see, I flipped this. Well, I put soft suede in the back and crumb cake at the top. And this one was early espresso and crumb cake. It would work perfect. It's just with what I wanted to do was not cutting up for me. So let me share how we do this. Uh, I had a bunch of paper that, here it is. So I'm going to use Smoky Slate and I'm going to use, um, let me think, Basic Gray. Now let's bring the platform number one. Put a piece of paper here. And a platform number two and a clear plate that is number three. Now, the first thing that I like to do, you decide first with direction. So I did it on the long way. This time we're gonna do it on the other way, okay? But even if you want your card this way, I rather cut on the long way. And the reason why, it's because it engaged better when we go at the next piece. So I'm going to put that about right here. That look about right. Now I'm going to put the next plate and we're going to roll it on. Et voila. Now you're going to have all little bits and pieces. See? And this here, if you tap it, all the pieces come off. This was a friendly die. Now let's remove this. Okay, so now we got just the opening, right? Oh, one little piece there. Here we go. Now you're going to take this piece here. Now I'm going to bring to your attention that 
I am not a perfectionist at what I'm doing or I have no clue what this piece is. I didn't discover it yet. Here is, and I'm thinking maybe it's Santa's feet. I don't know. See, I cut this. It's not the top of the house. It don't go in the chimney. It's not this part. I cannot figure what part is this. When I find out, I'm going to make sure to shoot a video and tell you what it is. Right now, I'm thinking that go at the top of the... I'm not sure. I don't have a clue what it is. So, I'm honest with you. But this piece, so the, the long skinny one, I have no clue yet. Now this piece here that's shaped like the cabin, oh, I still have a little piece there. Here we go. You don't want no bits and piece. The reason why you don't want no bits and piece, it's because it won't cut good the next one. I got a few there. Here we go. You're going to take this and you're going to match it with the chimney there that's the best place i can seem to align it i want to make sure you we can see yes so you see at the top there that's where i go and align that now you see that's why i want a long way if you go on the other way it's like the speed bump and it's not the most friendly thing when you get speed bump right and to make sure let me bring a piece just to make sure it's not moving especially now I don't have the access to really uh, put my hand through this because of the camera I'm just going to put that right here so now I know it won't move we're going to put the other clear plate at the top and we're going to roll on now And because I went in the center, you see, I don't have long enough there. Don't worry about that. I did that by purpose. Now we're going to take another piece. So you can do light or dark. Depends what you want in the back. going to put this piece there. And I didn't measure them. Okay, I trimmed them after. Because <coughs> I know it's in the center. I'm going to put this one too in the center. We're going to roll this through roll on and now let me share how we're going to assemble that now I'm going to bring back the machine to do the, the trees too it's stiff with the trees so now this here we're going to take our scissors or you can use um, it doesn't matter what you're going to use uh, the trimmer but really it don't have to be straight because it's <clears throat> the horizon et voila now we get this piece now this one gonna go at the top of this here so now I would glue that there if I want sponge or stamp I would do that first but let's say this is gonna be like this what I'm gonna do you're going to say I'm using a uh, wasting paper. I find it easier than try to align it just right. I find that a lot easier. You could always cut one, match it, and then remove one. But for me, this worked lovely. Now, I'm going to take this and go right at the edge here. Trim this. Now, I'm going to bring my paper trimmer, though. I'm going to bring the paper trimmer. And we're going to cut this right equally here. Just as long as this is flush there, you need to start one side that is flush, that it's straight. Now I'm going to cut this, and this is going to be at 5. Here we go. Now you get your cabin. So now you can decorate it the way you want and so on. So this one, we don't do it with the stamp really because you would cut pretty much every detail of the stamp. You, st you sh still could use it, it's just it would cut quite a bit. Okay, so that's for this piece. Now for the trees. The trees without stamping. Next video going to be about the stamping. So the trees, we got 
these little trees here okay now we're gonna go ahead put that I got mossy meadow that I grab here and you can cut all three at the same time and roll on now if they get stuck on your plate if your plate is old like mine and it's very precious or whatever it's called take your poker just go under and because if you try to take your finger you're going to pretty much rip it so i just go under and voila so now you get those trees those little trees here don't go with the stamp set they're separate okay now we get the other trees that match the stamp set. So this one, let me bring it here. So we got these. You can use that with your stamp set or not. And today it's no stamping. So I'm going to share with you how it is without the stamping. So you see this I stamp. This is stamped and also with the little holes. But let's say you don't want to stamp. Now let me bring another piece of paper. You're going to put... Uh, that right here and again you want to go on the long way it's a lot better than go this way plus if you go this way you would have to be very careful not to have your um, die on the side of your plate because that would bend them and can even cut them now we're going to put the trees there so just remember this match the stamps okay it's the trio of the, the trees match this die See, I got ink on it. I was working with this bundle. This matched perfectly, but today it's no stamping. It's tips with dies. Next week, I will do with the stamping. Now, leave that there. Now, bring the other trees here that got, I say it looked like a little chicken box. The little holes in it. Now, you're going to align that right there at the top and one over here. Now, we're going to put the plate on it and roll on. And now, oops, sorry about that. Now, we got our threes, and they're very friendly. They come right off, really. You just have a little bit maybe to poke through. Um, I find this uh, die very, very friendly. See, I barely touch it, and they come right off. It's uh, Some die are more tricky, but this uh, die is very uh, friendly. So now you get your threes, and you see, um, let's say that I would put that here. See how you see the back? So it looks more like you see through the branch, right? Okay, now, the next die that I want to share, it's, here we go, those little star here. So, it won't do, um, you know, the outline. It's just, it's going to do a background. So, let me share. I want to remove all those little pieces on this here. That's what I'm doing. The reason why you want to remove that, because it would, uh, make a little mark on your uh, paper okay I got a piece of uh, midnight um, not midnight but moonlight misty misty moonlight I'm gonna put that right there and then we're gonna roll see you could have the all your sky done with little star and you got little one if you're patient you can use them save them and use them with like a uh, glue dots but that i'm gonna say we need patient for that so now roll again and voila very i mean see even the little bits the little dots come right off so that is pretty much it for the dies. Let me bring, uh, you get two more. So you get the fans, 
you get the rail for the fence and then you get the little um, fox the little fox I got him right here I can share quick the fence that I would use um, adhesive for that in the back of the sheet the adhesive sheet because it would be uh, very tiny to glue let me remove the little star here and then we're going to do a little gray fence here here we go and then we're going to roll this through now we got the big outline now you're going to take your little posts here and they're going to go right in between each I think that's what it does hmm let's cut another one that's what I thought when I saw it one minute let's cut this one here so maybe we can have two different color I bet that's what it is this one here for sure you would want to have yeah that go on top so this you really want to have the adhesive sheet because it would be hideous to um, glue on top of this so this would be in a different color see boom so you can have your fence let's say white like the snow if that's the background the same color then you can color your posts in the brown and this have it in the silver or copper like bob wire or you can have it white pick it uh, fence white that's your choice but I really recommend that these here you use the adhesive sheet to glue that so that is it my friend for um, my card now I'm looking here it is so this year it's no stamps stamps exception of the greeting so I sponge in the background with misty moonlight and crumb cake little bit of misty there also and the this is on that beautiful paper on page 37 it's called peaceful place gorgeous paper so <clears throat> next week come back and I will share tips when using the stamp set thank you so much for joining till next time happy stamping